This is Coffee with God and I am Father Jos. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 6, verses 19 to 23. Passage taken from the message version of the Bible. Don't hoard treasure down here where it gets eaten by moths and corroded by rust or worse. stolen by burglars stop our treasures in heaven where it's safe from moth and rust and burglars it's obvious isn't it the place where your treasure is is the place you will most want to be and end up being your eyes are windows into your body if you open your eyes wide in wonder and belief your body fills up with light if you live squinty eyes in greed and distrust Your body is a musty cellar. If you pull the blinds on your windows, what a dark life you will have. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflections on the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 6 verses 19 to 23. Is it possible to live in this world without the basic financial backing or material riches? The story of the creation in the book of Genesis gives an important lesson for our reflection. When God created the human beings as the crown of his creation, he had already put in 5 days of work, so to say, God did the homework to create everything that humans would need. God created the universe and brought man into it and said this is all yours. Wealth in abundance was the original plan of God. But the evil of selfishness, greed and jealousy gripped the human heart and the divisions began to surface from the beginnings of the story of the humans. The stories of Adam blaming Eve and Eve blaming the snake and later Cain killing his brother Abel were all stories of human selfishness, greed and jealousy. Therefore, poverty was not intended by God, but the humans created it and still perpetrate it. Jesus invites his disciples in today's gospel to identify the treasure, the true wealth found in God instead of accumulating earthly treasures to satisfy their greed for worldly riches the most important thing for a christian to do is to ask oneself what is my treasure the only treasure that can take with us to the end of life is that which we have given away for the good of our brothers and sisters a tree does not eat its fruits It means that all beings exist to give themselves to others. St. Paul quotes the words of Jesus in the Acts of the Apostles. There is more happiness in giving than in receiving. Like the tree, we humans are not made to eat our own fruits, but to offer them as food for others. Just as fruits rot if no one picks them up, our gifts get spoiled. if we do not put them at the service of others the willingness to share does not depend upon the abundance of resources but to the generosity of the heart where your treasure is there will your heart be also to understand what jesus asks of us it is necessary to have new eyes do not store up material wealth do not serve god and money together Do not worry about what you eat or drink says Jesus in the gospels For many disciples of Jesus these demands are difficult to understand and practice This is why Jesus says If your eye is diseased anyone who looks at life with this diseased eyes lives in sadness and in darkness The medicine to cure this sickness is conversion, a change of attitude. Mm-hmm.